In today's update, we will be continuing on from the harbour and moving across in front of the promenade to add the new beach. I placed quite a large brickling order which included all of the different colour plates that will be used to create the varying depths in the water. After playing around with the different colour plates, I have decided on the combination that I personally like the best. It nicely blends the shallow water along the edge of the beach out to the deeper water. Beginning with the tan, dark azure, blue, dark blue and black. Using the same combination for the harbour in the previous video, transparent light blue tiles are used on the shallow water and then blended with dark blue tiles on the deeper water which works really well to enhance the varying depths. A row of dark tan plate is also added for the wet sand. With the first section of the beach on the corner of the promenade complete and placed, and before continuing, I then add a breakwater. This is incorporated with the lighthouse and blends out from its rocky edge. The breakwater runs next to the beach and adds extra interest and texture in the ocean. For the base of the breakwater, I use several larger slopes, particularly at the base to create a smooth appearance as it would have heavy ocean waves crashing against it and smoothing the rocks over time. Once I was happy with the overall shape, I then added water around the base of the rocks. Some poles as water markers guide the boats heading into the harbour as they use these to check the depth of the water to safely enter and exit the harbour. A light post and seagulls add some extra colour and life. With that done, the ocean can be filled in with tiles and some much needed landscaping for the old fishing store. Getting into the details, I've left a space for my upgraded beach volleyball court. I decided to build this using the snot technique, meaning studs not on top, where I simply lay the bricks down sideways. This has a huge advantage, allowing me to have thin court line markings, which is more in proportion, and I do use the same technique when adding some beach towels a bit later. To enable me to connect the minifigures, I use a modified 1x1 brick with a stud where they need to stand. To create some movement in the sand, 1x1 slopes around their feet are also attached the same way. The court is dropped into place, a new net is added, and the action begins. With that now placed, and to bring the whole city beach to life, more minifigures with lots of little stories for some fun at the beach are all added.
As usual, the most rewarding part is looking at the before and after shots. This is what it looked like before today's update and afterwards, the new city beach has really come to life. That's it for today. As always, I really hope you've enjoyed this update and I'll see you all again in the next one.